Saturday, 24th of July, 2021. Welcome to Evening Prayer, Proper 11. Those of steadfast mind you keep in peace, in peace because they trust in you. For in returning and rest we shall be saved. In quietness and trust shall be your strength. Hear us, O Lord, for your mercy is great. We will exalt you, O God, our Saviour and praise your name forever and ever. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be forever. Amen. Father, we come together in the name of your Son, Jesus Christ, our Redeemer, to offer you our worship, praise, and thanksgiving. To you belong all power and glory. You are the source of all goodness, let our worship bear witness to your peace and saving power. Through your Spirit, may we ever rejoice in the abiding presence of our risen and ascended Lord. Amen. Glory to you, Lord God of our fathers. You are worthy of praise. Glory to you. Glory to you for the radiance of your holy name. We will praise you and highly exalt you forever. Glory to you in the splendor of your temple and in the throne of your majesty. Glory to you. Glory to you seated between the cherubim. We will praise you and highly exalt you forever. Glory to you beholding the depths in the high vault of heaven. Glory to you. Glory to you 
Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. We will praise you and highly exalt you forever. Lord, we pray to you for the forgiveness of our sins. Have mercy upon us, most merciful Father. In your compassion, forgive us our sins, known and unknown, things done and left undone, and so uphold us by your Spirit, that we may live and serve you in the newness of life, to the honor and glory of your name, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Grant, merciful Lord, to your faithful people pardon and peace, that they may be cleansed from all their sin and serve you with a quiet mind through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. The Psalms appointed for today are Psalms 138 and 139. I will give thanks to you, O Lord, with my whole heart. Before the gods, I will sing your praise. I will bow down before your holy temple and praise your name because of your love and faithfulness. For you have glorified your name and your word above all things. When I called, you answered me. You increased my strength within me. All the kings of the earth will praise you, O Lord, when they have heard the words of your mouth. They will sing of the ways of the Lord, that great is the glory of the Lord. Though the Lord be high, he cares for the lowly. He perceives the haughty from afar. Though I walk in the midst of trouble, you keep me safe. You stretch forth your hand against the fury of my enemies. Your right hand shall save me. The Lord will make good his promise for me. O Lord, your love endures forever. Do not abandon the works of your hands. Psalm 139 Lord, you have searched me out and known me. You know my sitting down and my rising up. You discern my thoughts from afar. You trace my journeys and my resting places and are acquainted with all my ways. Indeed, there is not a word on my lips, but you, O Lord, know it all together. You press upon me behind and before and lay your hand upon me. Such knowledge is too wonderful for me. It is so high that I cannot attain to it. Where can I go from your spirit? Where can I flee from your presence? If I climb up to heaven, you are there. If I make the grave my bed, you are there also. If I take the wings of the morning and dwell in the uttermost parts of the sea, even there your hand will lead me, and your right hand hold me fast. If I say, surely the darkness will cover me, and the light around me turn to night. Darkness is not dark to you. The night is as bright as the day. Darkness and light to you are both alike. For you yourself created my innermost parts. You knit me together in my mother's womb. I will thank you because I am marvelously made. Your works are wonderful and I know it well. My body was not hidden from you while I was being made in secret and woven in the depths of the earth. Your eyes beheld my limbs, yet 
unfinished in the womb, all of them were written in your book. They were fashioned day by day, when as yet there were none of them. How deep I find your thoughts, O God! How great is the sum of them! If I were to count them, they would be more in number than the sand. To count them all, my lifespan would need to be like yours. Oh, that you would slay the wicked, O oh God. You have thirst for blood. Depart from me. They speak despitefully against you. Your enemies take your name in vain. Do I not hate those, O oh Lord, who hate you? And do I not loathe those who rise up against you? I hate them with a perfect hatred. They have become my own enemies. Search me, O God, and know my heart. Try me and know my restless thoughts. Look well whether there be any wickedness in me and lead me in the way that is everlasting. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and shall be forever. Amen. A reading from the Word of the Lord, written in the book of Joshua, chapter 23, beginning at verse 1. A long time afterward, when the Lord had given rest to Israel from all their enemies, all around, and Joshua was old and was well advanced in years, Joshua summoned all Israel, their elders and heads, their judges and officers, and said to them, I am now old and well advanced in years, and you have seen all that the Lord your God has done to all these nations for your sake. For it is the Lord your God who has fought for you. I have allotted to you as an inheritance for your tribes those nations that remain, along with all the nations that I have already cut off from the Jordan to the great sea in the west. The Lord your God will push them back before you and drive them out of your sight, and you shall possess their land as the Lord your God promised you. Therefore, be very steadfast to observe and do all that is written in the book of the law of Moses, turning aside from it neither to the right nor to the left, so that you may not be mixed with these nations left here among you, or make mention of their names of their gods, or swear by them, or serve them, or bow yourselves down to them. But hold fast to the Lord your God, as you have done to this day. For the Lord has driven out before you great and strong nations, and as for you, no one has been able to withstand you to this day. One of you puts to flight a thousand, since it is the Lord your God who fights for you, as he promised you. Be very careful, therefore, to love the Lord your God. For if you turn back and join the survivors of these nations left here among you, and intermarry with them, so that you marry their women, and they yours. Know assuredly that the Lord your God will not continue to drive out these nations before you, but they shall be a snare and a trap for you, a scourge on your sides and thorns in your eyes, until you perish 
from this good land that the Lord your God has given you. And now I am about to go the way of all the earth, and you know in your hearts and souls, all of you, that not one thing has failed of all the good things that the Lord your God promised concerning you. All have come to pass for you, not one of them has failed. But just as the good things that the Lord your God promised concerning you have been fulfilled for you, so the Lord will bring upon you all the bad things until he has destroyed you from this good land that the Lord your God has given you. If you transgress the covenant of the Lord your God, which he enjoined on you, and go and serve other gods and bow down before them, then the anger of the Lord will be kindled against you, and you shall perish quickly from the good land that he has given you. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Magnificat My soul proclaims the greatness of the Lord. My spirit rejoices in you, O God, my Saviour. For you have looked with favour on your lowly servant. From this day all generations will call me blessed. You, the Almighty, have done great things for me, and holy is your name. You have mercy on those who fear you from generation to generation. You have shown strength with your arm, and scattered the proud in their conceit, casting down the mighty from their thrones, and lifting up the lowly. You have filled the hungry with good things, and the rich you have sent away empty. You have come to the help of your servant Israel, for you have remembered your promise of mercy, the promise made to all forebears, to Abraham and his children forever. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be forever. Amen. A reading from the Word of the Lord, written in the Gospel according to Matthew, chapter 27, beginning at verse 11. Now Jesus stood before the governor, and the governor asked him, Are you the king of the Jews? Jesus answered, You say so. But when he was accused by the chief priests and the elders, he did not answer. Then Pilate said to him, Do you not hear how many acquisitions they make against you? But he gave him no answer, not even a single charge, so that the governor was greatly amazed. Now at the festival, the governor was accustomed to release a prisoner for the crowd, anyone whom they wanted. At that time, they had a notorious prisoner called Jesus Barabbas. So after they had gathered, Pilate said to them, Whom do you want me to release for you? Jesus Barabbas or Jesus, who is called the Messiah? For he realized that it was out of jealousy that they had handed him over. While he was sitting on the judgment seat, his wife sent word to him, Have nothing to do with that innocent man, for today I have suffered a great deal because of a dream about him. Now the chief priests and the elders persuaded the crowds and asked for Barabbas and to have Jesus killed. The governor said again to him, which of the two do you want me to release for you? And they said, Barabbas. Pilate said to them, Then what should I do 
with Jesus, who is called the Messiah. All of them said, Let him be crucified. Then he asks, Why? What evil has he done? But they shouted all the more, Let him be crucified. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Lord, now you let your servant go in peace. Your word has been fulfilled. My own eyes have seen the salvation which you have prepared in the sight of every people, a light to reveal you to the nations and to the glory of your people Israel. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and shall be forever. Amen. The Apostles Creed I believe in God the Father Almighty, Creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, His only Son, our Lord. He was conceived by the power of the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin Mary. He suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended to the dead. On the third day he rose again. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. The Lord be with you and also with you. Let us pray. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Save us from the time of trial and deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Amen. Lord, reveal your love among us, that we may know the joy of your salvation. Grant peace within and among all nations, and teach our leaders wisdom. Endow your church with faithfulness, and her servants with knowledge and true godliness. Defend, O Lord, the rights of the poor and the oppressed, that your justice may be known among all people. Lord. Renew your spirit within us, that in us and through us, your will may be done. Proper 11 Almighty God, the fountain of all wisdom, you know our necessities before we ask and our ignorance in asking. Have compassion on our weakness and mercifully give us those things which for your own unworthiness we dare not and for our own blindness we cannot ask through the worthiness of your son jesus christ our lord who lives and reigns with you and the holy spirit one god now and forever amen a colic for saturdays O God, the source of eternal light, send forth your unending day upon us who watch for you, that our lips may praise you, our lives may bless you, and our worship on the morrow give you glory. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. A prayer for peace. Almighty God, kindle, we pray, in every heart, the true love of peace and guide with your wisdom those who take counsel for the nations of the earth that in tranquility your dominion may increase until the earth is filled with the knowledge of your love through Jesus Christ our Lord who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit one God now and forever Amen 
the prayer of dedication. Almighty God, we thank you for the gift of your holy word. May it be a lantern to our feet, a light to our paths, and a strength to our lives. Take us and use us to love and serve all persons in the power of the Holy Spirit. And in the name of your Son, Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. May the God of hope fill us with all the joy and peace in believing through the power of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you and also with you. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God.